Hey everybody, so uh, I'm gonna uh, show you a really simple Python script. Um, I thought this is just kind of fun. Uh, just, you know, if you're interested in Python, you can kind of see how simple things are. I th always think that's uh, the important steps. Um, you know, those are, those are the foundational things that get you kind of interested in um, learning Python. Um, most of, uh, you know, at least recently, I, I kind of want my focus on this for this channel to be um, mostly uh, data science paired with AEC um, data. So learning from that data, um, structuring that, working with it, um, leveraging it for machine learning or um, just visuals. Uh, I, I, that's more or less my passion. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say for sure if I'm going to do Dynamo uh, um, videos or not, uh, but I may show this script at some point. But essentially this script, what it does is creates uh, rooms from um, CAD files. So it takes in those CAD files, it reads in those um, rooms, or reads in uh, the line work from that CAD file. Then uh, from there, we create uh, room separation lines and then uh, place those rooms. And we use the uh, uh, text or the tags, the room tags uh, in the CAD file. We pull those room tags in, get the, the points for those room tags. Uh, we also do some stuff with getting some of the uh, parameter information for rooms so we can read in text and get like uh, the room names and numbers. Um, so just kind of give you an idea of what this uh, node does uh, fully. So it, it'll, you know, name, number, place them at a specific level and location. The location, we're getting that from the point where that tag is sitting. Since CAD is 2D, um, it's, it's all dependent on where we have it placed in the model. Uh, and then, you know, at what level within that model, and that'll give us the correct point. Uh, when those room separation lines are there, we place the room, it'll create the room. Um, so I've already got the points uh, together, but the problem is, is uh, in this list, uh, you can kind of see uh, I've, there's three mod, there's three projects here. Um, it's okay that everything's one list. It, it works out. That's exactly what I need it to do. Um, as long as the points are where they're supposed to be. And you can kind of see the points in the background. Here's, you know, some of them for level one. Here's some of them for level two. And then you can see the points for level three. Uh, what I want to do is uh, essentially get every second point. Now, there's a, a useful Dynamo node uh, you can use, but uh, we're just simply going to focus on um, on uh, uh, Python. And... What we want is, you know, for example, here's uh, uh, one point. So it's uh, 148 in the x-axis. There's y, uh, 102 in the y-axis, uh, 148, 103. So those points are right next to each other. The reason why we're getting two points is because we're getting the name location. So we're getting that point. So that tag, um, the name um, uh, point, and then the number um, as a point. So we're getting those two as separate points. And you can see they're kind of paired with one another, which is really nice. And uh, if you go down this list, you can kind of see um, uh, the pattern. So it's 43, 43, uh, and they're right next to each other. Got, that kind of tells us that uh, those, those are, you know, together. And just briefly seeing what we see here, I can assume that the rest uh, of, this, um, of uh, this list is uh, structured in the same way. So what I want to do is essentially grab either, you know, the first uh, of those items or the second. Um, so let's uh, start by uh, getting the Python script. So we can right click in the workspace, uh, search for Python, and then from there we can quickly create our um, Python script. And, and, and this one is incredibly simple. So um, uh, it's definitely something to, to at least, you know, if you're not interested in Python but you're looking at it, uh, this may, you know, start to get you a little bit more interested. So we'll go ahead and double click uh, on the Python node to open it. And um, I'm going to rename this to just X. And then I'm gonna come over here and just say that this is input zero. So I'll do brackets. 
Um, now what I'm going to do is just come down here below this comment. Now comments are really useful for organ organizing your code, but they're not, it's not a structure you have to stick with. Uh, but if definitely, um, you know, if you plan on making a career out of programming, uh, organizing your code in a readable way is really important. Um, it, it also, I think it's at the premise of Python. Uh, there's a term out there called Pythonic, you know, the Pythonic way. Um, so it's always useful to code in a way that makes sense and that um, is straightforward and add those comments, you know, where necessary. Um, just to kind of explain things a little bit quicker. And it, it shows that you're kind of a team player. Um, so with that said, you know, we, again, this is really simple. We're just going to uh, create a Y variable, and then we're going to pass in X, which is our list, so our list of points. And then um, we're just going to uh, run um, on that list and grab every item. So uh, right here we can say, you know, get every um, uh item um, and then you know so we'll run this and, and verify so you you can change that number to every you know um, um, first item ever every you know third or so uh, you know item that you want so it all depends on what you're looking at uh, and now we're going to come down here and just say the out is y and we'll come down here save our changes we'll plug this stuff up um, before I plug it into the location we'll simply run it And it's done its thing. Uh, just to verify, I you know I need 93 uh, outputs. So uh, you can see uh, if we look um, down here, there's 93. And also if we compare the list, you can see 48.908 uh, uh, for the x-axis. For the y-axis, it's 102.194. So you can see we got the uh, first item in those lists, and then. If we come th or if we kind of scan this to the next one, we can see 43.778 and then um, uh, 149 for the y axis, uh, 0.557. Um, and if we look here, we have 143.778 uh, for the x, and then for the y, we have 149.557. So um, that looks correct. We have 93 outputs, and the reason why I need 93 is essentially I need half of the list here, and I can also verify that by looking at my room numbers because those should all be the same, the room names and numbers. So we can see this output is 93, and we can come down here and see that this output is 93 as well. So um, everything looks good, so now I can simply uh, plug this node up, and then uh, I can run it and it'll go into the model and it'll place all the necessary rooms uh, and, then, and then add the uh, necessary parameters that pertain to those rooms, um, the name and number, and then place them on the right level uh, and then bounded within those room separation lines. So hopefully this kind of gave you, um, you know, if you're interested in, in Python, hopefully it gets you in that direction. Uh, feel free to reach out to me and ask any questions. Um, I'm always happy to help folks out and, and learn what they're doing. Um, so, uh, but thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.